This is the Unify Short Stack, the perfect entry level setup for diving into the Unify network. Now, a while ago, I did an Omada Short Stack and you guys like that, so now it's Unify's turn. And while the purpose of a short stack is obviously to be an entry level system, it also has to be both affordable and take up little real estate. Those are the rules. Cool, you got it? Well, let's talk about what we have here. This is a three piece combo meal composed of the Unify Express, the Light 8 PoE switch, and the U6 Plus access point. Starting with the Express, this is your cloud gateway, essentially the brains of your network. This is what acts as your router and your console for controlling everything. Note that Unify has gateways and cloud gateways, the difference being that the gateways are just routers and will require a separate controller or a cloud key to run the Unify network app, while the cloud gateways can run Unify network app themselves. This is one of the reasons I went with the Unify Express. Now that we understand that, let's talk about features and the specs of the Express. It's $149, has two one gig RJ45 ports, one for WAN and one for LAN. It does one gigabit per second routing, has support for 50 plus clients, and has a built-in Wi-Fi 6 access point. Okay, immediate pros and cons to this thing. The main pro is that you could just plug this in and run the entire network, albeit a small one, completely off of this thing since it's a cloud gateway and runs the Unify network app and has a built-in access point. The built-in access point is the equivalent of the U6 Plus, which we'll see in a bit. I mean, for the price, this is a solid device. Remember, this is entry level we're talking about here. The cons I think you'll see brought up when discussing the Express are that it only supports 50 plus clients, it doesn't have IDS IPS routing, and it only runs the Unify network app. The 50 plus clients is simply because it isn't a powerful device, and while you could most likely handle more, if you do, then you may start to see slowdowns during high activity. If that's an issue for you, then I'll be talking about a kind of short stack plus setup later on. No IDS IPS routing, what is that? Well, within the Unify network on supported devices, you can turn on IDS IPS, which is the intrusion detection and intrusion protection systems. Basically, it analyzes traffic and keeps you safe from known threats. They have a page where you can read more, but the Express doesn't have this. The other thing was that it only runs Unify network. Now this may not be a con for you at all if you don't care to branch out into other Unify products like their cameras with Unify Protect or their physical access products with Unify Access. Those will not run on the Express, so keep that in mind. So yeah, I mean, you could stop here if all you really want is a small setup for an apartment or for a small office of only a few people. You could honestly just plug one of these into the LAN port of the Flex Mini Switch to give you four LAN ports and call it a day. But this is the short stack, which while yes, is an entry level system, isn't meant to be the absolute minimum setup. For this reason, I chose the Lite 8 PoE switch. This is an eight port switch with four one gig PoE ports and four regular one gig ports. It has a 52 watt PoE budget and comes in at a price of $109. I went with this guy for two main reasons, the amount of ports and the PoE. With its eight ports, I think that's a good starting foundation for an entry level system. But Brett, I have a 48 port switch that is almost completely full. Cool, a lot of people don't need that. Plus you can add downstream switches if you need more ports in a specific area. I mean, that's what I do. Then we have the PoE, but why is that important? Well, lots of cameras and access points can be powered with a single cable using PoE, so it's just a nice thing to have. Hold on. I heard you sneak cameras in there, but you said Express doesn't run Unify Protect. Busted. Okay, just because it doesn't run Unify Protect doesn't mean you don't have a different surveillance solution with other cameras. Hell, I run a real link setup. And of course, since we have PoE now, we can also easily power another access point with a single cable, which we have here. This is the Unify U6 Plus, a Wi-Fi 6 access point that can do 2.4 gigabit on the 5 gigahertz channel and 573 megabit on the 2.4 gigahertz channel. It's got a 1 gig uplink port that of course can be used to power the device over PoE. For $130, I think it's an excellent pairing with the Express since they're nearly the same things in terms of Wi-Fi. So why another access point if the Express already has one built in? Well, more coverage, honestly. When I think of a network setup, I think of the internet coming into your house into some stowed away location like a closet or a garage. 
most people will just plug in their router there and call it a day. And this can be fine, but usually it's not the best location to have your main Wi-Fi access point. So why not add another one? Using one of the PoE ports on our switch, we can run a single cable to anywhere in the house or office and plug in the U6 Plus. Unify Network is great at handling multiple access points since it will just mesh all of them together into a single network. This means that you can connect to a single SSID and no matter where you are in the building, it'll find the access point with the best signal and use that one. You can get way more granular with your Wi-Fi setup and have specific SSIDs for specific VLANs or device types, but that's outside the scope of this video. Go check out one of my other setup videos for more tips on that. So that's my short stack. Is this the best setup for you? Maybe not, but I do believe this is the best general setup for anyone looking for an entry level way to get into Unify Network. For just under $400, you have a multi-access point system with PoE and VLAN support. Do you need more ports? Go with a bigger switch. Need faster Wi-Fi? Go with a better Wi-Fi access point. And want to use Unify Protect for their cameras? Well, let's touch on that. If you feel like you're going to want to branch out and use more of the Unify apps, then I'm going to recommend the ShortStack Plus. This swaps out the Express for a Cloud Gateway Max, the Lite 8 PoE for a Pro 8 PoE, and the U6 Plus for a U7 Pro. I just did a video on the Cloud Gateway Max, so watch that for all the juicy details, but the TLDR is that it's a 5-port Cloud Gateway that has some nice upgrades. All the ports are 2.5 gig. One of the ports is a LAN WAN combo meal, so the device can support dual WANs for failover. It'll do 1.5 gigabit per second routing with IDS IPS. And the main thing is that it will run the entire lineup of Unify apps. It even has a built-in NVMe storage bay to record all your footage from your cameras with Unify Protect. At a cost of $200, it's obviously more expensive than the Express, and we do lose that built-in access point. But if you want to run more than just Unify Network, then I think this is the play. Then I upgraded our Lite 8 PoE to the Pro 8 PoE. I was torn between the Pro 8 PoE and the Enterprise 8 PoE. I personally run the Enterprise 8 PoE, but I kind of have a weird use case. The Pro 8 PoE is $350, so a significant price increase. For more than double the price of the Lite 8, we get all eight RJ45 ports with PoE+, Plus with two of those actually doing PoE++ for up to 60 watts on a single port. The power budget does go up to 120 watts, so you'll be able to connect more cameras and access points from here. We also get dual 10 gig SFP Plus ports. Some people may never use these, but those of you that want to pair this with another switch that has 10 gig SFP Plus, then that makes for a strong uplink. You could even just run it straight to a server and have full 10 gig there. The last thing is that this is a layer three switch, which means you can have this act as a router for inner VLAN traffic. I'm not super into the way Unify handles their layer three stuff, but with the last Unify network update, I think they're getting better. The last upgrade is moving from a U6 Plus to a U7 Pro. This is a $189 Wi-Fi 7 access point that gives you a nice feature boost with Wi-Fi 6E and of course Wi-Fi 7. I hate to use the future proof as an excuse, but it's nice to have a device in place that will only get better as your clients start adopting newer Wi-Fi standards. I think right now I only have two or three devices in my entire network that use Wi-Fi 6 or 7. The U7 Pro will do 5.7 gigabit per second on the 6 gigahertz channel, 4.8 on the 5 gigahertz, and 688 megabit on the 2.4. Always take these numbers with a grain of salt because Wi-Fi is almost always limited by the configuration of your client, and even then you're never going to see those max numbers. At the time of making this video, Ubiquity hasn't implemented the main feature that makes Wi-Fi 7 awesome, which is MLO, but I'm confident that's coming. So our total price for the Short Stack Plus comes out to $740, which is almost double that of the Short Stack. I think this is more open to flexibility though, since as your network requirements increase, they often become more specialized. One person may need 20 access points and only 48 wired ports, all with PoE, while another person may need hundreds of wired ports with a few access points, and only a few of them need to be PoE. All of that to say, none of this is gospel. I'm not saying that any of these setups is the setup to buy for everyone, but I hope it helped shed some light on providing a good starting point for anyone out there looking to enter the world of Unify. Let me know what gear you started with or what gear you're thinking about getting down in the comments. 
If you like this video, then drop a like. If you want to see more Unify content, then subscribe because I do that sometimes. I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my short stack that, while maybe short, packs a big punch. Y'all agree. And if you're still watching, you're a PoE injector. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.